Hey, 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 it's your fellow alopecia princess, Jasmine Holbin. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my show. All right, so I decided to just make a quick video here at work, I'm taking a little break, like a little 15 minute break. Um, I have to work more often these days. Like my boss asked me to actually come in an extra day, which sucks. <laughs> like who the hell wants to get on the train another day of the week? But I'm doing it, all right? Like, and it's driving me absolutely insane, like absolutely insane because right now, like with this coronavirus, you do not want to be packed on a subway, in a subway car with like 7,500 other people standing on top of you in every direction. So like, it, it, I feel like it's like picking at my brain, like it's it's wearing me down, like it's making me into like a very miserable, <laughs> miserable person because like I'm, I'm stressed, like it's stressful. I, I wear a scarf over my face to keep the germs away and like I'm constantly with the hand sanitizer and sometimes I wear a glove on the train because I don't want to touch anything it's crazy like it's crazy but anyway that's not what I um that's not why I am making this video today I just wanted to tell you guys I bought like I recently bought a few new wigs and I spent a lot of money on them I'm not gonna tell you yet just how much money I spent in total I'm just gonna talk about this one wig that I'm wearing right now which is a sheetle it's a I don't know if you should pronounce it sheetle or sheetle it depends on who you speak to I guess but it's a, it's a sheetle it was marketed as a sheetle. Women, Orthodox Jewish women, wear sheetles after they're married because you're supposed to cover their hair. Um, as you all know, <laughs> and this is unfortunate for women like us, like hair is supposed to be like the window to beauty for women. So once a man is married, his wife is not supposed to show her luxurious, beautiful hair to the rest of the world because I guess she becomes that much more alluring. So she wears a sheetle and I guess that makes that dumbs down her beauty and her husband doesn't have to worry about her being attractive to other men. <laughs> That's a crazy story. That's a crazy story um, for me to tell because I am a woman who has absolutely no hair on my head or all over my body. So for me to say that it actually like, oh, hair is not, okay, it's not the window to beauty there are so many other ways for a woman to express her beauty than by tossing her long hair around okay there's a lot of beautiful bald women and i think i'm one of them okay and don't come for me don't come for me just because i'm where i wear wigs on a daily basis doesn't mean that i have low self-esteem or that i think that i'm ugly without my wigs i wear wigs because i like to assimilate okay boom booyah i like to assimilate i don't like to stand out when i'm on the street in a way that makes me look like i could possibly have some sort of disorder i bought it on ebay um in the description box i'll send put a little link to where i got it i don't think that this this sheetle maker actually makes reproduces wigs i think everything is one off so i'm not real sure how that works but i'll, I'll send a link so sheetles are interesting because um, for the most part, this sheetle is supposed to be um, European hair, okay? It's, they say it's European hair. So, the great thing, in my opinion, about European hair, when they market European hair, I don't, I don't, I, I do find that the hair is better quality. And I don't think it has anything to do with, you know, like, European people having better hair than Asian people. I, I don't think so at all. But um, I think that it's it's harvested more, more um, ethically. So um, because it's harvested so ethically, they're more careful about the way they, um, the direction that they use when, you know, when they handle the hair and when they sew it in. And, and I just think it's a better product overall just because they take more time harvesting it because I don't think white women are out there selling their hair like these um, <laughs> Asian women, you know. I, I don't know if you guys ever like looked into the background of how hair is harvested, but like there's places in India where they're just like, selling this idea that by going bald you're going to go to heaven or something like that so women and men and children are going to temples and just shaving their hair and then the leaders of the temple are taking the hair and just selling it which is fucked up like that's fucked up it's really unethical if you ask me so anyway the hair i, I thank god that they're doing it though because bald women like us need the hair <laughs> you know what i'm saying not for nothing if anybody deserves to have great hair it's 
uh, great wigs, it would be, you know, someone who actually lost their hair, not someone who just wants to do it, you know, for, for the look of it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my Sheetle, okay, and talk a little bit, a bit about um, <sighs> European hair versus Indian hair. And that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about now because I have to get back to work. But thanks for tuning in. I'm going to reach out to you again real soon, and y'all take care. Bye.